Alright, so it looks like we got some really, really good stuff coming in, and today, well, so we're going to talk about the Gundam Universes, the Armor Core, and as well as the High Gog Gundam. Well, I had the uh, Strike Freedom Type 2. This is the one from the Gundam Seed Freedom movie, and this looks like they're coming out a Gundam Universe style. Last time we had some pictures of it, well, we obviously knew some of the changes. Of course, obviously, is the shoulder pads, if you look right here. They're slightly different, a little more detailed right there. And, of course, again, uh, I don't know if it comes with a rifle. It doesn't look like it comes with that spare rifle on the side. But you can totally tell the V-Fin is totally different because, obviously, the Mighty Strike Freedom goes into it. So, obviously, a lot of people are kind of, like, you know, upset about it. But, honestly, the Gundam Universe um, figurines have been really, really good. And I think each time they do it, it gets better and better. So, I have no hate towards these Gundam universes. Obviously, these are meant for kids. And it's supposed to bring a more broader audience. So, obviously for us who are Gunpla fans or Metal Bill fans, this is probably not for us. But, I like to take the benefit of the doubt that they are pretty sick. So, I'm all for it. Now, as mentioned in this photo, you can see a better image of the... Um, as you can see, the shoulder pads are pretty massive. It looks a little more detailed. As I mentioned, the V-fin is there. And, of course, you know, <clears throat> these don't really come off, but the Dragoons are there for sure. Two Beam Sabers, looks like. And as you can see here, it just looks really bulky. So, again, um, it looks like it's a little more detailed here, but a little more bulkier, I guess you can say. So, that's pretty cool overall. I think it's pretty nice. It's not terrible. Now, the Red Astray is the next one. Now, again, I personally don't like the Red Astray. It's not my cup of tea. But if you are a fan, this looks like it might be for you. And you can see the Samurai Sword is very, very detailed. And this is really cool. Of course, it's for kids, so they obviously couldn't make it as sharp. But it looks cool. It looks like a really... You know, I could say overall, it's just really simple. Sword, boom. It looks like there's no sheath that comes with it, which I totally get why. Oh, no, it does. There you go. There is a sheath that comes with it. Okay, I take that back. Um, It looks detailed. I mean, overall, it looks really great. It actually, it looks really, really cool for the US red, uh, red frame. Um, So, <clears throat> overall, I think this would also be a... Um, uh, you know, I think this would definitely be a win as well. Now, I noticed the hands are white. Now, I think the fingers are supposed to be red. Um, so it's weird how it's kind of all white. It kind of gives me like a little Joker vibes or, I don't know, it's kind of weird. And let's see the back there. Looks really great over here. You can see the sheet that's mentioned. So I guess it does go in. So it's pretty cool. I guess it's a little nice little gimmick. Um, but yeah, no, overall, if, if you want something to pose and play with, for the, you know, especially with like the sword, this is definitely it. i surprised they don't give you open hands, but honestly, I'm not surprised they don't give you open hands. Now, last but not least, I want to talk about is the Gun Barbados Lupus. Now, if you saw my last video, I think it's like my top three video of my Barbados Lupus Rex. Now, I gave some really, really good points and positive feedback on the lupus rex so i have no doubt about it this lupus is gonna be just as amazing so this is definitely something i'm probably gonna pick up for sure because this looks epic and it's coming just as big probably as the lupus rex probably more detail like the box and obviously the side skirts are pretty plain as you can see it's just all white obviously we know it has supposed to be some red or something um, the claws are sick, so this is probably gonna be the Lupus Rex claws. Has the huge mace, which is really sick right here. Um, posing looks okay. Definitely, it's not the Lupus Rex for sure. It doesn't give that nice posing. Um, but overall, it is still pretty detailed. You can probably panel line it and make it look really nice. And I'll probably do that when I get it, just so I can panel line it. Um, the as you can see here, this is pretty lazy. The white should be technically gold i think at least that's from the metal robot uh but the white just looks really lazy kind of wish they kind of add a little more details on the hands but whatever what are you gonna do about it um but yeah this looks cool overall i think this looks really great um the details are pretty good probably pick one up as mentioned um the lupus you can't go on the lupus lupus is always good iron blood of friends really sick so this 
this is really really good so i think this is gonna be pretty dope but so far out of the gundam universes i definitely think the lupus rex is my favorite and is the best one out of all of them so far so i would say this would be maybe like second best because the hands and arms is pretty detailed and that makes a pretty good difference um but we'll see i don't know i could be wrong but it looks great from here from what i see um let's see what else is there nope that's pretty much it for the gundam universes but i guess if you want to add these we have the b band eyes black knights on asia probably be in us pretty soon i'm not too fan of these so for me personally i do like the ref the, the rifle though the rifle is really sick but again this is probably not my thing though i'll probably maybe get the black knight the red one but these are okay these are kind of mid so for me personally it's not my favorite i do like the weapons but overall not my design not really a big fan of it so probably gonna pass on these ones all right as you can see here we have an image of the i uh so I, i'm gonna butcher this ira irie see i'm already butchering i have no idea i'm so sorry <laughs> i play the game but i totally forgot because it's been so long but it looks like we got an image of the robot spirit and this is looking sick am i gonna pick it up hell yeah i'm gonna pick this up definitely gonna pick this up this looks freaking amazing. Like, I really can't wait to get this. And I can't wait to see more images. This is looking pretty sick. And I hope it transforms. I doubt it will, but, you know, pretty, pretty cool if it did, though. Uh, but this is the only image, image we have so far. I'm looking forward to seeing more. This looks really sick. Now, this one I want to mention is the Gundam Bernalupus. This is like the High God Gundam. And honestly, this is actually looks really, really sick. Like, I don't like this mode, but I love this mode right here. This is the high gog mode, and holy crap, this looks sick. Like, it's beautiful. Like, I don't know. I would, like, just leave in this mode the entire time. This is definitely the next one I'm going to get, like, model kit-wise, because this looks dope. Like, the design, everything is sick. This is definitely something I want to get. Uh, I believe this is from the Gundam Wing side story. And yeah, no, it, I can't wait till I get my hands on this because this looks super unique and I'm all for like really unique mobile suits. This is definitely one of them. I think it looks great, it looks sick. And it's P Bandai, so it'll probably be in the US. Uh, or I guess P Bandai USA soon. So can't wait for that, guys. Anyways, uh, yeah, no, this, this looks cool. This is fan fantastic i definitely want to get this but anyways what are you guys thoughts on it uh what do you guys feel about the uh gundam universes and yeah i'm no, looking forward to knowing your feedback let me know what you think and see you guys next video peace hey i was watching that